In today's video, we're going to be stitching this Audi RS4 wheel together with something I call the Euro Stitch. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at this Audi RS4 steering wheel. Um, this is probably one of my favorite looking wheels. Nice, simple design, not much to it. Uh, as I always say, less is more. So that definitely fits the bill there. This wheel is going to go black Alcantara with a nice deep yellow stitch. What's actually quite interesting about this wheel is that it's shared with another car other than the Audi RS4. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want to see if you guys know. Uh, so if you do, comment below. I'll reveal it at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Um, but it's really quite interesting. Um, but for now, let's crack on. So with all steering wheels, the first thing we need to do is strip the old material off. Uh, that means going around and cutting the thread so we can peel the old material away. Here I've got a scrap piece of leather and I'm just removing the glue. The underside of leather works really well to get old glue off. And as you can see, it gives a nice clean finish for us to glue to. I'm taking a little bit of a different approach on this wheel uh, when it comes to the pattern. I'm not going to take a precise pattern. I'm going to roughly cut the size I need and then I'm going to temporarily glue the material to the wheel and I'll take a pattern from there from scratch. Here I'm just sewing on what I call the wings. So these pieces are on the back of the wheel. Uh, this will give me a guide as to where the material needs to sit uh, before taking the pattern. So I'll glue these on 
and then stretch the wheel around and I can take a pattern from there. Once I've stretched the material over, I use a paint pen. Uh, I came up with this method um, quite a while ago, and I think it's the best way to get a good accurate uh, pattern. So what you do is you take your pen, and then you draw where you want your join to be. And then you press your material over firmly, and as you can see, it transfers on the back side of the material. Um, and then you do the same again for the other side. And as I said before, this material is only on temporarily, so we'll take it off and cut the material on those lines. This is a Euro stitch, so this doesn't require any uh, holes to be punched by hand uh, like it did in my other videos. With this one, you have a line of stitch running either side of the material, and then you sew through that instead of the holes. Now that the cover's glued on, it's time to focus on the stitching. Now, a couple of videos ago, I did another steering wheel for a Lotus Exige. Uh, this steering wheel had what I call a baseball stitch. I'll put it in a card up there so you can go and check that one out. Uh, this one's having what I call a Euro stitch. You find it on all BMWs, Audis, Volkswagens, stuff like that. 
and the main idea is is that you have two rows of stitch either side and then you go through with a needle uh, and pull it together. I am going to do a video in the future um, explaining all the different styles and my favourite ones but with that said let's get this stitched up. As I've mentioned throughout this video, this is what I call the Euro style stitch. Uh, so it's found on Mercedes, Volkswagens, Audis, BMWs, and this is actually how BMW achieve their M Sport stitching. Uh, you've got three different threads you can change. And as you can see here, I did an Alfa Romeo wheel a couple of weeks ago, and it's got the green, white, and red thread colors for the, uh, for the Italian flag. So that was really nice. The idea with this stitch is that you go through and then you miss every other stitch and you do that all the way to the end. I start from the middle and go one way and then I'll come back and go the other way. After that, I'll pick up the thread and I'll tighten it and I'll go through again from the middle to one end, middle to the other end. And then you need to tie it off. I put the needle through the rubber and then I'll tie a knot so it can't slip back through. I just want to say a huge thanks to everyone who subscribed. Again, um, I really appreciate the support and it's really nice to see uh, so many people interested in the automotive trade. If you're watching this and you do enjoy it or you learn something, I would really appreciate that subscribe. I know it's really cliche, but again, I really do appreciate it. It lets me know that you guys want me to carry on producing these videos. Uh, it's a lot of work on top of what I already do. Uh, I'm a one-man band, so I have to deal with every aspect of the business, um, but I really do enjoy making these. So like I say, if you give me a subscribe, it lets me know that you want me to make more. Uh, and do give me suggestions in the comments of things you want to see, whether it's from dashboards, steering wheels, headliners, anything like that. Uh, and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, but again, really, thank you for subscribing and all that good stuff. And that is how you upholster an RS4 B7 steering wheel. Now I mentioned that this wheel is in another car other than the Audi RS4, uh, and that other car is a Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, so if you know anyone who owns one, get them to strip the airbag out, tell them to look down there, and there's a stamp with an Audi logo on it. It's exactly the same wheel. The only difference is 
is what they do with this bottom piece here. With that said, I hope you learned something from this video and you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I do really appreciate it. The support has been amazing recently. Um, it is really nice to see people interested uh, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.